Welcome and thank you for tuning in. Liverpool Football Club picked up a tough three points at Anfield today. Not words that I use very often, but they were tough nonetheless. West Ham United gave Liverpool all it could handle. And ultimately, Liverpool came out on top by a 1-0 margin. Sadio Mane's first half goal, uh, which had been put under VAR review, it counted and it counted for three crucial Liverpool points. I am so used to watching match-fixing John Moss hand Liverpool terrible decision after terrible decision, but ultimately he could not fix this match for West Ham. So huge credit to the Reds for winning ugly because many Liverpool supporters like myself have grown accustomed to watching Liverpool bang in multiple goals almost every single game. But David Moyes had the hammers ready to go. Uh, Mikael Antonio gave the Liverpool defense fits at times. And Liverpool's D was, to be fair, a bit leaky. You know, Trent Alexander-Arnold made a great goal line clearance. He assisted Sadio Mane's goal. So I thought a well-deserved Man of the Match award was given to Trent Alexander-Arnold. And, you know, the Liverpool fullback tandem between Trent and and Andy Robertson is simply superb. Joel Matip was not even in the squad today, but Ibrahim Okonate remains a marvel of a beast center back. I am so happy that Konate is a red. He is going to be a great player for Liverpool for many, many years to come. And Virgil van Dijk uh, is really doing a great job of leading all of the center backs who are coming through the Liverpool system. Uh, but, you know, for the Reds to go out and pick up this crucial win, it is massive. You know, I kept begging for Liverpool to get that second insurance goal all game long, uh, following Mane's goal, of course, I mean, but it never came. But thankfully, Liverpool stayed tall. You know, Alisson Becker had some really important uh, saves and clearances in this match. It could have very well have been drop points for Liverpool. But when the Reds are going up against a team of difficult mercenaries such as Manchester City, every single time Liverpool drops points, it just feels cataclysmic, which is not how football should be. But that is the situation Liverpool finds itself in. But being three points behind Manchester City, having the leg up in goal differential and still having uh, another Premier League match to play against Man City in April, Liverpool is still in the driver's seat in complete control of its own destiny in the Premier League. And hopefully Manchester United, I can't believe I'm saying this, but hopefully Manchester United uh, will get a result against Man City tomorrow because that would be absolutely massive for Liverpool's Premier League title hopes. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you've watched for this long, you might as well subscribe to my channel.